Hey class, welcome back. Mr. G here. We're going animated today. I'm going to go back into the classroom real quick. So today we're going over a sketchbook activity. So I've got new groups, new students, and go over some sketchbook stuff. So for today's class, we're going to be doing a sketchbook activity. Now this sketchbook activity, we're going to be doing all year long. Now for this project, you guys are going to be making a sketchbook design like the t-shirt that I'm wearing. I love to have a good band t-shirt. I want to have lots of art, lots of rocker stuff in my own, in my own space. That's how I roll. That's what I do. So for you guys, you guys are going to create different music band themed t-shirts. On my t-shirt, I've got this rocking robot design. He's kind of tearing through the wasteland. I I got paintbrushes in one hand, I got a radio in another, I just thought it was a cool design. Now behind me, number of sketches on, on paper going from something simplistic, something a little more advanced. I want to see as much advanced cool t-shirt designs from you guys as possible. Now for this project, I've already got some stuff posted on my site, uh, but for my other teacher friends, here's how we, let's break down that assignment project for you guys. First off, let's go over some examples. Uh, I saw a TikTok over break and it stuck with me. I was like, let's do something like this. And that was where a teacher is going around and randomly asking their students about the shirts that they're wearing. Do you know who the band is? No, no idea. Do you know what songs they play? Also, no idea. So I was like, hey, let's make that a thing. For the breakdown of the project, you are going to go to my master list. Now this list I got from MIT. There was a couple guys that were doing a master's thesis on uh, AI generation on, and generating word syntax things. And what they did is they did a randomizer that came up with 10 thousand band names and uh, I put, I put the link in the description to get to their site but what they're what everybody's gonna do is we're gonna go to that list of 10,000 band names you're gonna pull a band name and you're gonna create a t-shirt design from that so breakdown from this MIT thesis it was 10,000 statistically grammar average fake band names now they were working on a paper the quest for ground truth and musical artists similarities they built a music shear which is a AI structure uh, to collect human evaluation of artists and similarity. They expected a lot of responses, but needed a way to ferret out bad results. Robots, users who just clicked on things randomly, people that didn't know about, didn't know the, the, what the bands. One idea was to pepper the list with red herrings in the form of fake band names and to see if someone choose one, they would ignore their responses later on. Instead, they end up thinking, thinking up a few, made a quick, they made a quick script, part of a speech tag of original list of 6,500 artists names that they were considering. This then left them with a common band name grammars. When they fed those terms into the already collected music sets through the grammars again, they came up with some believable band names. So there is one on the list that was um, an actual band, which is Caldera Catnip, and that was already taken. Uh, so, but for the most part, these are fake band names, and, and I, I love that as a concept for these guys to use AI to create and generate all these different band names. I think is really, really cool. Back to the classroom. Today, you're going to pull out that sketchbook, and this is what I'm looking for in your sketch designs. Now, you're going down that list, pick one band name. From that one band name, you're going to put out a font design. Now, the font design is all of the letters, the text formats. Dress that up however you want to. That's what I want to see. Behind that, or in addition to you're going to come up with two other elements now those two other elements could be any of the following or something else which is a backdrop a band symbol an image from the album a tour poster lead singer or front person or mascot etc one of the things i was saying about the other day was the uh, tour poster you can put down the list of cities that these guys are going to that the bands are going to visit dates made up dates always a good thing uh I, maybe you'll do a thing just on flag day I don't know why, but I think that's funny. Come up with these cool designs, and I'm posting mine on Instagram for my students. I'm gonna put the hashtag in here at the bottom because I haven't figured it out yet, but I will when I post this video so that we can keep track of all the different band t-shirts designs that we're coming up with. I'm not I'm not doing artist trading cards this term, but I think this would be a cool uh, alternative version of that. So you guys could challenge each other to different bands, uh, could do a battle of bands later on down the road. I don't know, put some comments down below and we'll see wh where this goes. Uh, so let's go ahead and wrap up class like we always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the various platforms. I will see you guys next class. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm a little 
little anime guy that I'm using for a bit here. I just think it's cool. It makes things a lot easier. I just want to be different. You know I me. Mean? So, other than that, I will see you guys next class. Until then, later, guys.